welcome to my channel. We want to see how to determine if vectors are linearly dependent or linearly independent using determinants. So that's what I want us to look at in this video. So supposing a given a set of vectors, what we'll be doing is that we'll be extracting a, a, a matrices out of uh, extracting the coefficients of those uh, vectors and then writing them as determinants. Now writing them as matrices, then after which we obtain the, the determinant of the matrix formed. So that's why I'm saying that given a set of vectors, let the matrix formed by the vectors be matrix A. Now if we obtain matrix A from those vectors, and then when do we say that the vectors are linearly dependent? We say that the vectors are linearly dependent if the determinant of that matrix A is zero. But if the matrix gives us non-zero determinants, then the vectors will be linearly independent. So I, I just want to use an example to make this one clear to us. So the example that we have is that of uh, these vectors u, v, and w, the question is, are they linearly independent? So what I do, I extract, um, I extract, I form a matrix using these vectors, and the matrix that I form will be my first this is my first vector, so I make it my first column. My second vector, I make it my second column. My third vector, I make it my third column. And then I want to obtain the determinant of this matrix. There are various ways of obtaining determinant of matrices, but I'll show you the easier one. I'll use the easier one. And my assumption is that you know how to get determinant of matrices. So what you can see here, since these are three by three matrix, I have my first, the matrix is here, one, two, three, two, three, seven, three, five, six. Then I've taken this set, these two first columns and added them here. You can see that here, the first two columns. So I have this diagonal, the diagonals in red, is it red or pink? These are diagonals here. So I'll multiply along these diagonals in pink and add the results. And then multiply along these diagonals in blue and also add the result. So I'll subtract the second result from the first result. So let me see, that's what I did. So I'm getting the determinant. That's how I I begin the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So 1 times 3 times 6 gives me 18. 2 times 5 times 3 gives me 30. 3 times 7, no, 3 times 2 times 7 gave me 42. And then what about <clears throat> 2 times 2 times 6? That gives me negative. Gives me 24. So I subtract 24. Then this will be that five, which I also subtract, and this will be 27, which I also subtract. So the determinant of this matrix is four. It's non-zero, and therefore the vectors given to us are linearly independent. Because we say that if the determinant is non-zero, then the vectors will be linearly independent. So let's look at another example. Okay, I have this set. I have the set, uh, this set comprising of this vector, this other vector, and this other vector. The question is, is it linearly independent? So I extract my matrix from this. I have the first, the first column, the second column, and then the third column. And then 
this matrix is here then i add the first two columns here beside this then i draw my diagonals i multiply along this diagonal get four along this diagonal again get four along this diagonal i have zero so i've added those three now i subtract this along this diagonal i have zero so i subtract zero along this diagonal i have two so i subtract i subtract two it's this and then i began from it began from me because this was given negative two so negative two subtracted from here will give me positive two and this other one is the one that was giving me positive two so when i subtract i was getting a negative two here and then this other one was giving me zero so in other words the determinant of this matrix is zero since this matrix has determinant zero we say that the vectors are linearly dependent so that is how we tell if matrix if vectors are linearly dependent or independent using determinant of uh, matrices.